Maruti M. Talani, it's a pleasure to be in your company. How are you today, sir? No, I'm very well. Good. Thank you. So, before we get into the fight, the Sonny Edwards fight, I just want to... I just want to learn a little bit about you. There's be a lot of fans that are seeing you for the first time. Um, I think the fight with Nanita Donaire was probably the last real high-profile fight that mm. caught people's attention. But tell us about your boxing story. How did you get into this? Yeah, I started boxing when I was 13 years old back in South Africa in Deben. Yeah, as an amateur, then a 10 professional, 2001 if I'm not mistaken. So I've been doing boxing since then. But there were ups and downs sometimes. Uh, I was inactive, not getting fights. So that's why man, maybe many people doesn't know myself. It feels like it's been quite a, a difficult career. Sonny Edwards himself has said that you are criminally underrated. <laughs> do you agree? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, I know I'm underrated. Yeah. So, but nothing I can do. No. If people don't praise what you're doing, you can't change it. But here you are now, 38 years old. Mm. And is it fair to say, if you come through this, this this fight is getting a lot of attention now. Could this almost be a breakout fight for you at, at 38? Yeah, I think so. Like when I fought Nanito, then many people were talking about me. Then after that, it was quite... So I think after this fight again, people will talk about me more. Mm. Yeah. Take me back to those those fights with Zolani Tete and John Real Casemiro. They were back-to-back stoppage wins for you against guys who... Tremendous, they went on to become world champions. Yeah, those were the were best fight for me. Mm, it was not easy, but by training hard, by being well prepared, I managed to stop both of them. Yeah. Mm. What, what are your memories of the John Real Casemiro fight in particular? We've seen a, a clip go around on social media in this Sonny Edwards promo. It looked like you, you really did a number on him. Yeah, no, he was punching hard, but um, luckily my guards are always up. I was where uh, I defend, I able to defend it myself. Then when I punch him back, he couldn't take my punches. <laughs> <laughs> Can a lot of fighters take your punches? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the, I stopped many of my opponents because I've got 26 knockouts, mm. you know. But it's not like I'm a knockout specialist. Knockout comes to me as a bonus. Like I said earlier on, I'm always well prepared to go for a distance for full 12 front. But if the knockout comes, then I'm happy. What keeps you motivated, Maruti? I mean, there's there's times where I believe you you had a fight scheduled recently and then it just last minute pulled off. It, it got uh, pulled out. Exactly. Mm, my family, they motivate me a lot. Yeah, They like what I'm doing. They always encourage me not to give up, no matter how things are difficult. Yeah, yeah I think my family play an important role in my career. You got children? Yes, I do. One, a boy. Mm. What's his name? Loazi. So have you been speaking to him since you've got here? <laughs> yeah, of course. Nowadays, we can able to even to call, video mm-hmm. call and see them. No, they're doing well at home. Get and some... they are excited that finally I'm here in line at Kose. It was not easy to get here. We have to start it from Tunisia for 10 days before we were able to come here. So it wasn't easy. It's, I mean, your your journey in general hasn't been easy, so that's just a, a little example there. Like, mm. even just to get to London, you're having to go via Tunisia. Yeah, yeah. Ten days. Yeah. Um, so will you do, like, a FaceTime with your with your child, with your kid, before you come out here? Yeah, no, he's my friend. He's, like, my best friend. Always having happy moments, mm, playing together. So I miss them now, with my wife as well. I miss her. I guess the plan is to take that belt back home with them. You don't want to be leaving it here, do you? No, no, I'm not going to leave my tag here. I'm taking back home for sure, yeah. So tell me about Sonny Edwards then. You've spent time with him before, I believe, in mm. Ukraine. What 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 did you learn from him in that time? Uh, it was back in 2018. We were in Ukraine. We went there for sparring. We spent the two weeks together there. No, we were just friends. Nothing much or nothing special happened there. It's just we were sharing the same hotel there, yeah. Did you uh, did you ever think you'd be fighting him? No, I've never thought of that because I think you had some few fights, but now he's 15 and 0. Mm. He's 15 and 0. He said uh, that in that time that you shared together when you was going around Ukraine, you were impressed with him and you told him that he will be a world champion. Yeah, yeah I did that. I saw his style of fighting. He's a good boxer, yeah, but I didn't know that one day he will face me. <laughs> yeah. Look, boxing has been uh, there's been so many times over the history of boxing where you've mm. got the veteran world champion 
and you've got the young contender the young coming yeah. through. And more often than not, the young contender dethrones the old king the, and becomes the king. The king. Why is it going to be different on Friday? Uh, I think it's going to be different this time around because though I'm well prepared, like... I've been wanting to fight since my fight cancel was cancelled in, in December. Never stop. I've been training, training, hungry for action. So no, I'm well prepared. I don't think he will be able to beat me. To be honest, he's a good boxer. I respect him. I respect all the boxers. But no, I'm, I'm ready, and I can't just come all the way from South Africa here to let my title go just like that. No, it won't gonna happen. Is it too much too soon for Sonny Edwards? No, I think it's the right time for him. Yeah, for sure. If you want to be a best boxer, you have to beat the best. Yeah, so I think it's a good opportunity for him. Yeah. So this fight wasn't ordered. He's not your mandatory or anything mm. like that. They've just come to you and said, do you want to go it's and just, fight this guy? Yeah, it's just I've got an offer, so I took, I took the offer with both hands. Yeah. And do you have admiration for Sonny Edwards? Because obviously you, you will consider yourself the best flyweight in the world. You are number one with Ring Magazine. Do you have uh, an admiration that he is walking towards the fire rather than trying to go around yeah, it? Of course. Mm, I think anyone will do that because if each and every boxer want to be world champion. So if an opportunity comes, you just go and take the opportunity. I think it's the right thing to take the opportunity. Even if I were him, I will take the opportunity. Yeah. So what are your remaining plans? If you're to come through victorious against Sonny Edwards on Friday, mm. you are number one with the Ring Magazine, but you are not the Ring Magazine champion. Is mm. that still an aspiration? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, after Sonny Edwards uh, fight, I'll go back home, uh, take a break, uh, spend time with my family. Then um, I, I think I'll have to do a mandatory defence because there's number one waiting for me. Mm -hmm. No, but we'll take it from there. At the moment, I'm still uh, focusing on the fight on Friday. Then after fight is where I'll sit down with my manager and talk what's next. How long do you think you'll remain in this sport, e even if you do come through on Friday and you do come through your mandatory defence? Mm. No, How many I more think, years uh, you left? I know exactly when I want to stop, but I can't say it on public, but um, from now on, I think maybe next year, I'll see how things go, but I think next year is my last day in boxing. But I'll announce it that probably. Yeah, okay. Well, tell us, how do you think that the, uh, the fight is going to play out then on Friday night? What's going to happen? Um, I think it's going to be a good fight. Unfortunately, there will be no fans, but they will be watching at home on their, on their TVs. Yeah, I think it's going to be a good action. Um, to all my fights, I always come ready, super fit. When I prepare for the fight, I never prepared it. This one, I'm going to win by knockout. I'm always well prepared for anything that will happen in the ring. So if the knockout doesn't come, I always prepare to win on points. If knockout comes, it's always a bonus to me. Yeah. Well, he's, uh, Sonny Edwards has already talked about some of what his plan is. He doesn't plan on meeting you head on. He's mm -mm, you can have a plan. It's when you sit and think, oh, I'm going to do this and this and this, but once you're in the ring, it's a different story. Yeah. So that's the plan. Big Maruti Umtalani win on Friday night. Uh, any final message for anyone watching back home, for your children, your family? Mm, yeah, I know. Uh, people will be watching back in South Africa. I know they, will, they, they are supporting me all of South Africa because some will be flying the South African flag high. I know. Mm, I will make you proud, guys. Thank you. Maruti, thank you very much. Okay, thank you so much.